What's up everybody, it's Chew Flocka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we have another gameplay. This is our second one of the day. We already did Dan Marino. Now we have Marvin Harrison. We are using our power pass. That's how we're getting them so fast. We are just going to keep using the 97 power pass as long as we can to do gameplays. I think that's the smartest way and probably the best way to do it because we don't know if we want to keep these cards long term and we want to get the gameplays out as fast as possible. But as you guys can see, the stats right here, 99 speed, 91 jumping. The jumping's not a big steal. Catching at a 99, though. Catching traffic, pretty low, 93 for the stage of the game. High spec catch at 99. And then the short route and medium route running are base 97, one powered up. And then he has a 99 deep with go deep. He is insane. We do have route tech on him. I'm super excited to get it into the game and see what he could do with these stats because these are legitimately insane stats. Let's get right into the game. Let's see if we can get him going. It looks like we will be getting the ball first in this game right here. We're going to be wearing the same jerseys from last gameplay, the 1990s Lions. These were requested in our Twitch stream. If you guys do want to go there, you can request what jerseys we wear. They do carry into gameplays as well, as you guys can see right here. But, like I said, in past wide receiver gameplays, it is very hard to focus the receiver once they start realizing what you are doing. But at the end of the day, we do want him to get him going. We'll switch him around in different positions if we have to. But right here, he's starting in that slot right there in the bunch. So hopefully we get him in this corner right away. It's a really hard position to hit at first. But it looks like we're going to have it wide open. Marvin Harrison on the sideline. Not bad at all. First play of the game, 22 yards. That is definitely a play we will take. But as you guys can see, right here, we do have Robbie Anderson still on the team from that gameplay. I really liked what I saw and I kept him. Maybe we do the same with Marvin Harrison. As you can see, his route tech lit up right there. And look at that separation right there on, I don't even know who that is, Bradbury. He has the Bradbury plane right there. You kind of can't play Bradbury and man against a 99 receiver. It's just not possible, you know? Especially when he's a route running receiver with route tech as well. I will definitely take my Marvin every single day. Let's see if we can get him going again on this corner route. It looks like he's going to be wide open again on the sideline, getting good animations. 50 yards right away for uh, Marvin Harrison. I don't. I almost said Rodney Harrison because he just came out today too. But Marvin Harrison right here, another huge play. Three receiving or three receptions and 50 yards already. We'll definitely take it. I don't know why I'm messing up my words so much. Maybe because it's early. But we're gonna have this low pass to Robbie here. Not a bad play at all. We are now on the two yard line. Can we punch it in? That is the real question here. Can we punch it in with Marvin Harrison? It's going to be hard. It's definitely hard to punch in, especially when people know what you're running. We're going to be scrambling out. Can Marvin Harrison, we're going to try to throw it here. Last second, he gets the catch on him and falls out of bounds. As you guys can see, we try to bait him right there. I don't really know what else we could run here. We can run this motion slant right here. If he's not open, Alvin Kamara will be wide open because he will be scaring him with that motion slant on the goal line. So let's motion him over. Make sure to look at Kamara and him. It'll be either one of them two being wide open. As we're going to force it right over the middle. And he's going to get a pick six on us. That was just a terrible play by us. Let's head into the next drive of offense. And hopefully we can remake for that terrible, terrible play. So we did get the ball back. That was not how we wanted to end the drive at all. That was terrible. We threw it right to it. We basically gave it to him. And he ended up dancing. So, you know, we do have to end up turning up now on this guy. Let's see if we can hit this corner out right away. Get him activated. We're going to hit him with a complete dot from Deshaun Watson. That was another huge play. We already have 100 yards with Deshaun Watson. Marvin Harrison is playing very good. I like, like I said, he is playing amazing. It just came down to I forced the ball to him. That was more of my fault. That wasn't his, that wasn't his fault. It wasn't Deshaun's fault. That was my fault. But right here, this is basically a Marvin Harrison gameplay. So let's see if we can get him going. I know Deshaun is looking amazing right now. So let's see if we can get this motion slant again. Let's see what he uses here. Looks like he's going to pick that up, and we're going to have this wide open. That was kind of risky because Dion, if he had acrobat, that would have been a little tough. But not a bad play at all. Let's run this double post again. Maybe hit him on a drag right here. We are moving the ball super solid. That end zone is just hard to punch it in, especially in a wide receiver gameplay. As we're going to have Kamara just wide open on the other side. We will definitely take that as Byron Jones misses the hit stick. Sam Mills helps him out right there. Let's try to hit a corner route right here. Let's try to hit a corner route. I think the corner might be open. 
hopefully. Like I said, I am hoping the corner is open here. It is definitely a good play to run. It's just hard to score out of the slot position. Let's see what's going to go on over there. It looks like we're going to have him in the back of the end zone. It's going to be risky, and we force it, and it was an uh, uh, interception out of bounds. I don't know. Why am I risking that? But at the end of the day, I'm just going for that big play. That's all we're looking for is that big play. But we are playing good despite punching it in. That's the our only negative right now is we just can't punch it in. This guy cannot stop a nosebleed. I'm just trying to force that Marvin so bad here. As we're going to have him for a low pass right here on the one-yard line or two-yard line. Not bad at all. He is cooking. I'm not going to lie. He is playing amazing. It just comes down to me not being able to, able to score in the red zone. But I really think we're going to win this game if I don't choke right here. Basically, we are killing him on offense. It's just... I don't know. I don't know. We got to see what he could pull on offense as well on his side. As we're going to have him wide open. And we get a terrible throw because that guy's shedded. Oh, he was so open in that man coverage. That truly does suck right there. That was a complete, complete bust in coverage. But the throw was behind him. Wasn't really Deshaun's fault because there was a guy that killed him right there on the edge. But it looks like he's going to blitz again. Okay, I'm not. All right, now that I know I'm ready for the blitz, it's going to be an easy touchdown. I did not know he was going to blitz again. That's just weird. People don't. You don't blitz like that. I don't know how to explain it. It's not a nano blitz. It's just a normal blitz. I'm not ready for that. But right here, we're going to have a Marvin Harrison motion slant with our running back blocking. I think this is going to be a little more solid as we're going to have him open. He glitches to the ball, gets the wide open touchdown. Marvin Harrison, easy, easy touchdown. Finally, we punch it in. He's looking amazing. All these mistakes are on me, but he is looking amazing. First quarter, 7-7. Seven seven. We throw a pick six. He is now going to touch the ball. Let's head into the next possession of offense. Let's see if we can get Marvin Harrison over 100 yards. I think he's around 80 right now with a touchdown. Let's get him over 100. But it looks like we are going to get a pick six right here. We're actually going to go down around right here. I know I should be taking it. It's easily game. This guy did dance on us too. He gets his first possession of offense and throws a pick six. But at the end of the day, it is a gameplay. We're going to take our points. Or we're going to try to get the gameplay. Obviously, that's just an easy win. It kind of sucks because it feels like all pressure's on you at this point. But at the end of the day, I just want to get the gameplay with Marvin. I want to show you guys that he is a good player. Definitely could be very good on a team as well. We're going to have this wide open. But Cliff Harris kind of runs in with the wheel route. That's the one thing. I might need to hit that a little earlier because if he's playing man... I don't know. I don't know. That's a little hard because the wheel route kind of connects at the late time right there. But we're going to have Marvin Harrison and man here. I think he thinks man is working now. So if he thinks man's working, Marvin Harrison's going to show him how to run man right here. As you guys could see, just I don't even know what just happened there. Why did I throw that? I don't know, boys. I have no clue. I am forcing the ball right now. I just forced it into 1v3. Let's just get the first down, and then let's keep moving on. It should be 14-7 to right now. It should be 14-7, to but I'm just playing like I'm just playing terrible at this point. We're going to have him wide open underneath. Looks like we are not going to get the first here. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I truly think our defense is going to hold up. I am lit literally this whole game is just me playing just terribly. But you guys can see that he is playing good. Marvin Harrison is playing good himself as he's going to blitz again, and we're going to have A wide open. We actually had a touchdown with X, but we don't want to score this fast. As we're gonna, we're gonna get out of that. Actually, here, let me try to let me go into formations. Let me go to a bunch offset right here, and we're gonna actually sub him out of the slot right now. And then we're gonna put him where Randy Moss normally is. Let's put Randy Moss in the slot, though. I don't know if how I like Randy Moss in the slot, but this is more of I see something wide open right now, especially in man. So this could be definitely a huge play right now, but. Like I said, it's definitely hard to hit plays, especially when it's just one play fluke. But let's see what he runs here. It looks like he's finally going to get out of that terrible play. And we're just going to throw it out of bounds here. I don't know. There was nothing I saw there. Maybe I could have forced it to him. But let's see if we can run this post underneath. I am missing a lot of balls today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just this guy is playing very unpredictable. It's always the very unpredictable players that are always the hardest to play against. I don't know if that's just me, but... That's just how I feel. Let's see what he runs. He runs that weird, weird blitz again. And we're going to have Marvin right over the middle. You have to have confidence to make that throw, if that makes sense. Because you really do got to throw it before he is open. You always do. We're going to sub him back in over here, though. Let's put him back over here in the slot. I think the slot's probably the best place for him. Honestly, he route runners, I always throw my slots over there. Because Randy Moss could run every route out of that tree over there on the outside. But I don't think I like Randy Moss in the slot at all. Let's see if we can hit him in this uh, corner route over here to the right, though. 
I don't know what he's going to be running. Oh, he probably was right open. I don't know if you guys saw that. He looked well wide open. Should have forced it in there. Would have gotten a hot dot. But at the end of the day, we will definitely take anything right now. We don't want to force it, but I think it's going to be open again. If I'm going to be honest, I think it's going to be open. Let me try to pull something right here. We're gonna actually going to move him over here instead of sending him out like that. Maybe that pulls it a tiny bit better. Looks like it's not going to. I'm going to force it again, and we get nothing right there. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing, boys. Next next half is going to be amazing from us, I promise. We did just get a pick right there. We are going to score this drive. I promise you we are going to score. He is looking amazing. It just comes down to me just playing very, very bad right now. I don't know why I'm forcing the ball. I don't know why. There are so many different plays I could run, but I am running the same dumb ones every single time. As we're going to have a wide open Kamar right underneath for an easy first down. 13 for 23 with two picks. That is just very unlike me, and honestly, I don't even know what to say. Like, that is legitimately the worst I've ever played. But the thing is, Marvin Harrison's having a good game, so I guess that's a good thing. And we probably do win this game. I really am choking. I could have taken so many field goals or even just ran the ball, but we're not. This has been, like, the easiest win of all time. But it looks like we're not going to have anything here. We're going to throw it away. I don't know. I kind of had some stuff, but it would have been pretty forced. I don't know. Me throwing those picks kind of... Kind of scared me. I'm not going to lie. Now now I'm a little shook and I don't want to run anything. You guys know how that those guys, those games go. That's how I feel right now. After you throw a couple interceptions, you're kind of scared to run anything. But let's see if we can hit him on this uh, corner route right here. This corner route could be very good. No, it's not going to be. We're going to have actually Robbie Anderson wide open. That was kind of a risky throw, but we did get a throw out of sack to make it even more risky. But he was wide open. We'll take that. Robbie Anderson, another huge play down the field let's see if we can get marvin harrison underneath right here it looks like he's gonna be just wide open those drag routes those are the craziest i've ever seen a wide receiver in this game run a drag route he like bursts off and he gets the animation so i'll definitely take that every time the thing that's crazy about this play as well you can see we can quick snap it as fast as possible too so it's like impossible to make your adjustments we're gonna have him wide open again we're gonna swerve there get hit sticked right there here we go boys we are in the end zone this is where we have struggled. We scored already on this play that we're about to run right now, though. But we've had our troubles definitely down here. That's the one thing. We've definitely had our troubles. Let's see if we can get this motion slant again, though. Hopefully, he's not blitzing. I think he might be. This actually might be a good play against the blitz. Looks like he's not. He's going to guard that slant, though. Nothing's going to be open. Let's see if he can go to the right. And Marvin Harrison goes to the left. We had a wide open touchdown. No, Marvin. You got to help your boy out right there. That is legitimately the easiest of easy touchdowns right there. And he completely runs the wrong way. I wish you could. I wish there was a way because Playmaker is just way too slow there. Unless I already have Playmaker on him, that's not going to work. Whereas we're going to get insta sacked right there by D Law, a 90 overall offensive lineman. Just insta sacked us. Not the best feeling in the world. Definitely not when you're getting insta sacked by a 90 overall this late in the game against a 97 offensive lineman. But, hey, we'll take it. We'll take it, I guess. Let's see if we can do anything now with Marvin Harrison. Let's do the motion slant. I think he's going to pick it up, though. We're going to have Kamara wide open right over Sam Mills. We're going to take our points here. But, like I said, Marvin Harrison is having himself a great gameplay despite me playing very badly. We are going to win this game. There's no way we lose it. But, anyways, let's head into the next possession of offense if he does not quit. I'm going to take you guys in the last a minute and a half for him. He is playing very, very weird right here. You guys will see. He is running like four verse and stuff. And like I said, I, I play the worst against little robots. I cannot beat bad players. It's just something with me. I don't know what it is. You guys can see he is running like though. He's just quick snapping with the worst plays inside of Madden and getting it. It's insane. But I think we'll be fine here. Yeah, I, I don't know. He has to score right here. He has not scored. He has not scored a single point on offense. I threw him a pick six earlier in the game like a bot, and he danced on me. So this one kind of feels like I have to win it, if that makes sense. We're going to run man here. Probably should be adjusting a little more, but not really doing my job here. As he throws it right at me and gets a throw out of sack, that would have been a pick six to end the game right there. That would have been deadly. That would have been probably the end of his game right there. We're going to do this, and then I'm gonna just going to play underneath. I'm going to play underneath with Derwin. I think we can get a big play here, as it looks like he's actually going to get a touchdown. Just chucks it. Literally just chucks it. That's like the third time that's happened this game where he just chucked it up and get it. But we have 54 seconds of clutch, boys. Let's get right into it. Boys, so it looks like we do got that 54 seconds on the clock. 
This is going to be a hard one. It's going to be a hard one. This guy is legitimately just, I don't know. Uh, you have, Everybody has those games when you're just playing a really bad player and you're just struggling. That's me right now. I'm playing a very bad player and just cannot beat him. But we're going to have him wide open on the corner route. He's going to stay in bounds. We're going to keep the clock moving here, I think. I think we will be perfectly fine because we do want to just kick the field goal here. So let's see if we can get anything going in this man coverage again, it looks like. We're going to have this low pass to Kamara. Another catch and run. We're already at the 50 with 20 seconds left and already have two timeouts. This is looking amazing, boys. This is looking genuinely amazing. So let's see if we can get anything going now. We're going to run that same concept. Hopefully that corner is open. Right now we're just trying to get anything so we could win the game. But right here, it looks like that corner is going to be kind of taken. We're going to throw it away. I don't know what he's running. Everybody's in coverage now. It's getting a little tough. I don't want to force anything bad here because this is the game. Like, basically, whoever gets this field goal is going to win this game. So maybe he gets a pick six to save him here. Maybe he gets something. Looks like we're going to have Kamara wide open underneath. And we are in field goal range, boys. We have one more play here. Probably could run it for a couple more yards. We're probably going to run it here. I want to be safe. I don't want anything stupid to happen. We do got Tyler Bass. So if we can get at least two more yards, I'm 100% sure we're going to get the, the game winner. But it looks like we're going to cut in. We're going to fall forward for at least four right there. And we're going to take a timeout right here. We're going to hopefully be able to hit this ice kick to win the game. Let me go over to formation, then go over to special teams. We do got to sub in Tyler Bass because we do have uh, Morton in for chem purposes. But right here, Tyler Bass is in. Field goal from 50 yards. Going to be ice. It's going to be a long one. Definitely going to be a long one. Comes down to, are we going to clutch with Tyler? Are we going to clutch with him? This guy also saved my fantasy season in real life. I'm not even going to lie. I scored a 15-point game when I was down 12. But right here, boys, are we going to hit it? It looks like it's going to be close, and we are going to hit it, boys. Game winner on the stream. That was a hard game. I don't know how to explain. I was just playing very bad. Looking at receiving, he had 154 yards with a touchdown. We don't want to talk about what Deshaun Watson had. That was a bad game from us. But 10 receiving or receptions for 154 yards and a touchdown is a dub, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. It was a little bit of a longer one, but we did finish out the whole game. Had a game winner as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to smash the like button for both gameplays today. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, boys.